Thanks, Thanks. Heidi. <laughs> a supposed <laughs> haunted bridge in East Lubbock has a series of stories floating around about why the area is so spooky. Courtney Frum sat down with a Lubbock local who has all the scoop on the spook. This haunting expert told me every person has a different story or scary experience out here at this bridge. But one thing for sure is when night falls, things around here get a little bit spooky. Most people avoid it. Just for good reason. I mean, it's uh, it's a very creepy place. Miguel Lozano grew up visiting Hell's Gate. There have been a lot of instances and I've actually experienced them personally and that's really it. I mean, you have your own experience out here. Uh, there's people that they've claimed they see shadows, they hear things and then they run off. Uh, other people say they don't drive them crazy. Um, it's <laughs> it's kind of a gamble at that point. Why do you think yeah. people are kind of attracted to stuff, something like this? Because of its location. Um, it's out of the way, it's quiet. Uh, this is probably the most heavily wooded area in Lubbock. And then there's the uh, Lubbock Mausoleum just right around the corner. The stories have been passed on for generations. So the bridge was originated to uh, transport oil. Uh, it was part of the uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico, Clovis Railway. It's just a very haunted place that attracts people of the occult. And uh, they kind of use a place, of, historically speaking, from what I've understood, uh, which groups or whatever you want to call them, they use this place to do their rituals and stuff like that. Every single person I've ever talked to, they've never been able to stay here past like two or three in the morning. Uh, don't let any of the stories turn you away. Uh, everybody's got their own story. Everybody's got their own haunting. Everybody's got their own experience. Um, the main theme of all of them is that this place is just haunted. That's the theme. There's no specific way. Uh, nobody's written anything down. It's just people pass it down from each other. But one thing he says to not do is walk on top of the bridge. I strongly recommend against it because you can see a bunch of the railway ties are missing. Um, it's heavily rotted, <laughs> completely under disrepair. I mean, walking up there is a gamble anyways, but state law requires that you can't walk across uh, rail railroads anyways. So if you're a thrill seeker, you should come out here and check out Hell's Gate. Just remember, it's highly suggested that you don't walk up along the railroad tracks because it could be dangerous. Did you hear that, Larry? For now, reporting at Hell's Gate, I'm Courtney. Well, if you're in North <laughs> Lubbock and looking for some family